Well, Troy, we have seen three systems move through the state over the last seven days and yet another one pounding down the doorsteps. And so the snowy pattern continues and today is going to be an absolute mess across most of eastern Nebraska all the way out toward the Panhandle as we have a very strong system pushing through the region. Expect all kinds of conditions, rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain and blizzard like conditions as the system pushes to the east of us over the next 24 hours. So as we look at the upper air pattern, here's the upper air low that's situated in northwest Missouri. Got the jet streak that is moving up toward the Great Lakes. It's bringing a tremendous volume of moisture uh, up from the Gulf of Mexico with the surface low is almost stacked on top of it. This is a very wound up system, it's very tight pressure gradient. We're gonna see some very strong winds across the eastern half of the state and accumulating snowfall moving from western Nebraska through eastern Nebraska as the day progresses. And then that system will push off into our east and we'll see the vast majority of the heavy accumulating snowfall start to make its direction toward the Great Lakes region. Here we start to see high pressure moving into the region so we'll have a little bit of accumulating snow left over in east central Nebraska early in the morning and then we'll basically be dealing with flurry activity. Then on Monday we basically start to see the jet stream more of a zonal flow so we get a little bit of warmth in southern Nebraska above the freezing mark. We do have a surface low in the Texas Panhandle but it does not have enough time to get moisture up of any significance into our region so we're basically looking at flurry activity. More importantly as we get on the day on Tuesday we see a little bit more northward movement of the zonal flow that's going to let a little bit warmer air into the southern half of the state. We'll be in the 30s but we'll be above freezing. Surface low stack up in the Texas Panhandle that's going to continue the moisture feed not a very strong one but enough to create flurry activity. And then as we get on the day on Wednesday, we start to see a dip in this jet stream and that's signaling that we're starting to see some cold air coming in and we're starting to see uh, more energy that will match with this low pressure that's developing to the west of us start to get organized over the central Rockies and generates the potential for some significant weather later in the week. As Thursday we start to see that dip materializing, low pressure stacks up over Wyoming and over southwest Kansas. That is going to lead to some good moisture surge and the first piece of energy looks like we'll start to see some accumulating snowfall move out into the state and then we get that push of the Arctic air all as we go into the later end of the week. That is really going to intensify the band between the cold and the warm and that means is the zonal area between those two systems lays right at Nebraska. Once again we're looking at some significant accumulation as we end the week and potentially carrying into next weekend as a couple other pieces of energy start to move into our region. Furthermore, if we go out from next Thursday through the following Tuesday, the cold air remains in place, although it starts to show signs of shifting toward the east. And in terms of precipitation, as the systems come in, it looks like the Central Rockies is under the gun for significant snowfall for Sofa Troy. It looks like a very nasty week, and this is not going to be good for a lot of the calving. Uh, that's going on, but more importantly, we do see a break until the end of next week in terms of severe weather.